Welcome back. Do remember, all our top stories can be found on our website, channelstv.com, and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. Visit m.channelstv.com to see us live on your mobile device. You can also download the Channels TV app for Android, iOS, and Windows phones from their respective stores. We'd also like to encourage you to use the eyewitness feature in the Channels TV app if you have pictures or videos you'd like to share with us. Just tap the application on your device, swipe to reveal the eyewitness menu, and follow the instructions. In the Northeast, the Boronu State Government has taken delivery of 21 truckloads of food items donated by the Dangote Foundation to the internally displaced persons. Fund of the Dangote Group of Companies, Aliko Dangote, in a recent visit to Meduguri, had pledged to support the government with 106 trucks of food to cushion the effect of the humanitarian crisis. The intervention is to augment the feeding of the internally displaced people throughout the Ramadan fast observed by Muslims. Rice, sugar, pastry and other items have so far arrived in Meduguri and 85 other trucks are still expected. The Bornu State Governor Kashim Chatima received the items. We wish to call on order when the new Nigeria to have the capacity to support the rest of that to come to our aid. This gentleman is the single highest employer of labor in this country. We deserve special commendation for the love he has shown to us. Not even now, for the past four years, he has been quite helpful. So every Ramadan season, there is sending containers of uh, food products for our people. But this time around, for a single foundation to give 100 crops of assorted commodities is out of this world, is beyond commendation. I think it's almost a divine intervention. And we work closely with the foundation and other men and women in the integrity towards ensuring that this food item reach the right to the system. This is the most important thing, to ensure that the right people have gotten access to this bookstore. Governor of Bornu State, Kashim Shatima. The Yobe State Government, meanwhile, has shared the 1,350 metric tons of maize delivered to it by the federal government. This is coming just days after it took delivery of the consignment of maize brought to the state by the Minister for State Foreign Affairs, Honorable Khadijat Bukha Ibrahim. The 1,350 metric tons of maize was shared in Damaturu, the state capital, to the 17 local government chairmen by the Resettlement and Rehabilitation Committee after a careful assessment of the needs of the council areas. Based on the formula, the Deputy Governor Abubakar Aliu, who is the chairman of the Resettlement and Rehabilitation Committee, says the insurgency affected local government areas such as Gujba, Gulani, Damaturu, Gaydam, Potiskum, and Unisari. Uh, they will have the highest allocations of 3,200 bags of 50 kilograms of maize. And away from the internally displaced persons and the insurgency in the northeast to the south-south, the Cross River State Governor, Ben Ayade, has inaugurated a panel of inquiry to investigate the incessant communal clashes in some parts of the state, which has over the past few years led to the loss of lives and property worth billions of naira. Speaking at the State Executive Council Chambers in Calabar, the state capital, the governor asked the committee chaired by the immediate past deputy governor of the state, Efia Cobham, to, amongst other things, investigate the remote and immediate causes of the conflicts with a view to finding a solution to the problem. And indeed, destiny has beckoned on you to come and save us from the challenges and crisis of our people. We therefore inaugurate you with a full charge, charging you that this is not a job that will require to sit in your office. It is a job that will require to be in the field, take some interviews, meet with the community leaders, meet with the youth wing, meet with the women folk, sit with them, and let's understand truly the cause of the problem. I hear from story that has been happening almost every year. 
I think that your committee will put an end to this crisis. I can assure you also that government is ready to support you, equip you, and finance this committee to carry out her job very diligently. It is important to also emphasize that government believes that if your recommendations that come are practicable, action packed, and clearly show a direction that they can put an end to the crisis, we will also charge this commission with the responsibility of implementing your recommendations. Mr. Ben Ayade, Governor of Cross River State. Now to Benue State and Makredi resident doctors at the Federal Medical Center have withdrawn their services in compliance with the directive to all state chapters of the association to join the nationwide strike. The head of clinical services at the hospital, Dr. Polinas Abu, said this to Channels Television, who were on ground to monitor the compliance to the directive issued by the national body. He, however, says the hospital will continue to offer skeletal services it can to members of the public, pending the strike being called off. Our residents here, too, have commenced strike as directed by the national body. Um, but we are still rendering skeletal services. Our consultants are not on strike. Our house officers, too, are not on strike. We had a MAC meeting yesterday and uh, decided to pull things together and see how we can uh, manage the strike. So the house officers, in conjunction with the consultants, are, are offering some skeletal services, especially in our accident and emergency ward. And uh, our AHIS clinic too is, is open. The GOPD too. It's 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 there. Yeah, yeah, there are consultants too working in that in, in that places. We pray it doesn't last long. Uh, we are aware of the negotiation that has been going on by government, uh, honourable reps, and senators have uh, are involved in it. So we pray it doesn't last long. You're watching news across Nigeria. Coming up. Staying in the health sector, the Nasarawa State Government signs an MOU with the United Nations Children's Fund to improve immunization in the state.